Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth today in this demo I am going to show you how to create login and then how to create a user uh, to have only the read access or data reading access that's very simple so two important things we need to understand while talking about uh, this thing creating the login and user. a lot of people don't have the uh, much clarity about the login and the user so I'm going to talk about that so first of all I'm logging with my credential that's the admin access and I'm going to log in with my, my server so this is my server right and in this server uh, there are two things if you talk about the security so you can see find the security at the top of the server level then you can also find the security under this respective database like here right so first of all whenever you want to enter to the server you need to have a thing called as a login so you need to create a first login right login is just for getting the entry into the server then just right click on login and just pass a name so I'm going to pass name like Srikanth test this is my user name I'm going to so, so basically this would be a login name will be treated so I need to think about I'm, on, I'm going to create with a windows authentication or I'm going to connect with the SQL server authentication so if you are going to create a windows authentication that so that account should be created on your windows machine but right now I'm going to show you a simple demonstration with the SQL server authentication so this what actually I have given I have given my login name then I'm going to give a password the password is very simple one two three this is for just demonstration I'm removing all the rules whatever it has and just uh, default is master then the next thing I need to just a public that's by default then in the user mapping section you need to just select uh, what are the different databases do you want to connect i just want to connect my database this is my data warehouse okay and then i i just want to give permission just for reading the data so this is the important root data reader that's fine then securable means uh, to which object basically that's fine so uh, just change uh, the role to they be the underscore data reader because we are granting to permission to only to see the data okay simple right so the moment i click on okay a login will be created login me just entry to the server so you can say shrikan underscore test it's, it's our login it just has been created right now when i go to the databases just refresh it once when i go to my databases see i created a uh, login or you can say for for which user Shrikan underscore test so you can see that that respective user uh, that respective login would appear here this is called as a user here so user will basically map to the databases and the login is mapped to the server fine and if I can try to view uh, the demo database in if I go to the security and if I try to go inside this one I can't see that to Shrikan underscore test because I only map that login to only this database perfect now what I'm going to do I'm going to connect to the server with my newly created authentication so Srikanth underscore test my username password is one two three okay let's try to connect the moment I click on connect I get connected to the server right now I'm just expanding it see if you remember I have only given permission to this database data warehouse but I haven't given permission to other database so whenever I click on this I would see the error like you don't have access or this is not exist right so just expand this data warehouse and if you come here and let's say let's say just expand this tables so you will see all the tables which are basically present inside the uh, database right these are only two tables and if I go to my existing login I could see here only two tables and again if I expand you know if I expand uh, the programmability then the store procedure I would see there one store procedure right but if I come back here inside the database with my new login I would see all the table but if I'll try to expand the programmability store procedure I won't see anything because the role which I have assigned to this user is basically data reader so he has permission to or just read the data now the next question can come into your mind that can I drop this table let's try to do that so you can simply drop you can simply delete just right click on that and just delete it see what will happen it will show you error the error would be you know the the does not exist do not have permission right so this is clear that you don't have permission to drop now let's try to edit 
right click and if you try to run update also it won't work let me do that so i'm just changing the name and now if i just say see no rows are updated you would see the error something that the permission was denied on this object right so you don't have access basically or reblade let me try to uh, delete once so just close it then again come here just try to edit top 200 let's try to delete this row from here what will happen you know it will again show you the access denied right so this is a simple way so you can see the data can i see the data yeah i can right you can simply write the query like select star from that table and you can get that information so it's very clear so if you understood how to create a login with a simple read access uh, where the user will only able to see all the table not all the stored procedure hope you enjoyed our video if you really like our video please share with your community friend that will really help you and please don't forget to comment over the comment section and thanks for watching have a great day ahead